Blessings, everyone. This is Sandra coming to you from Mount Shasta. First off, I wanted to thank everyone who helped us utilize that cosmic trigger on October 21st. We managed to open up a brand new wave of photonic light amplification right into the planet. Um, this is something that's been held back a while, kind of waiting for humanity to say, ah, okay, we're ready. And we did it. So here we are riding on these waves of photonic light amplification. Photonic light is a very fine substance. It is the substance that creates unconditional love where there was not before. It's all about order. It's all about creating harmony. It's, it's resonating with that core intention of Gaia to ascend and the intention of humanity to ascend along with her and assist her. Right now, she's kind of in the in the cosmic birthing room. Uh, there's a lot of divine feminine that are gathered around her, trying to create calm, trying to just ease her through this birthing process, because it is about collective intention. Our vibration does affect her in a very strong way, so she's she's doing her part. Let's do ours. We have another trigger coming up on the 11-11 and some events in November that I wanted to mention. So the 11-11 for a long time has been a trigger for people to awaken. A lot of people have been seeing 11-11 for years. And here we are in Blessed 2012. And as much as it is about 11-11 on, on December 21st, it's about 11-11 the day, the hour, as we prepare for this wave after wave a photonic light amplification coming in and now we're going to get the full blast from our galactic alignment. So on November 11th, it's very important to gather. Even if you have a small group, four people is enough to anchor an intention in an area and we have these portals open all over the planet now. It's not just about big old Stargate Mount Shasta. It is about portals opening up everywhere and the most important one of course is right within your heart center. This is where the shift begins. This is this is where all the sacred geometry is birthed from. That mother, father, god seed that you have right in your heart center is what is being activated. That's why you feel the way you do. That's why the unconditional love vibration that it, this entire universe is built on is coming to light and people are feeling it. Feeling the change in the planet. Feeling the light coming in feeling the change within, which then affects the change in other people. So gather. There's a global wave meditation uh, at 11.11 a.m. your time all around the planet. So all day long from, from morning to sunset for the whole GMT clock at 11.11, there are these global intentions of creating peace and harmony and love right in your area, right at that hour. And it doesn't matter how you celebrate it. Make sure it's a celebration. We're not trying to do things, trying to eliminate things. We're not, elim we're not, we're never going to eliminate things that we focus on. We're not focusing on what was. We're focusing on what is the truth and what we want to create. So go ahead and create it however you want. If you're a singer, sing the new earth into birthing. If you are a drummer, play the drum. You're a musician, play music. You're a painter, paint. If you're a writer, write something, share it with people. Talk, meditate, chant, drum, make some noise. Go ahead and celebrate. However you want the peace, love, and harmony to look, that is what you do. That is what you focus on. And it's not a matter of we should do this, we should do that. Go ahead, set your intention, get together, see what happens, be in the flow. Have a loose intention of, well, we're going to meditate, but if someone's late to the circle, so what? Welcome, welcome, come on, sit, okay, here we go, we're going to start all over again. Oh, now that, let's celebrate everyone that comes into your circle. If you're going to be in Mount Shasta, get together with me. If it's too snowy up here at up top, We'll meet down in Shasti's Park. Go ahead and check my website if you want to get together in Shasta. If, uh, if you're interested in continuing that wave all day long, which is what we did on the 21st, yes, you should be living it every day. People are looking for the marker, the marker. Here's your marker. Every day from now on, you are creating your reality. You, as source, you can feel this. 
You can feel when you tap into that creativity, you can feel yourself as creator. We are creating this, co-creating with Gaia, this new experience. And even though she has many dimensional experiences, this is the one we're waking up to right now. And that awakening code of 1111 that everyone has been seeing, this is, this is the time to use it. This is the time to go, yes, I understand. I understand I am master of my own reality. I understand what I want and I'm going to focus on it. I'm not going to focus on pushing out things that don't exist anymore. Let's stop focusing on them and they will fall away. Create the new. This is it. However you want it to look, however you want it to feel. What do you want your days to be like? Thank goodness this is on a Sunday again where you don't have to go to work, hopefully. But go ahead. Celebrate all day long. One o'clock, there's a do as one meditation, chanting, singing, not just sitting and being silent. If you want to do that, thank you. Beautiful. Be in that peace and harmony. But at two o'clock, they're also going to have a wave of... Uh, hi, sister, come on. Hi. Uh, we're also going to have a wave of of breathing together, breathing as one. And this is a beautiful project that even Carl Kalman was supporting. And you can tell, <laughs> hi sister, I'm making hi. a video for, for everyone about uh, the 11-11. Would you like to join me? Okay, for okay. a long Sure, okay. have a seat. So uh, I know the energy up here is just so beautiful, isn't mm. it? So I'm talking about how, so we can feel this unconditional love coming in, being activated, totally acti activating that crystalline Christ consciousness that everyone's been talking about. But on the 11-11, we have these global waves of meditation. We have the do as one activities. And then the most important part about finding the shift is not in the external, it's right within. And you can do that just by paying attention. Get out in nature, breathe, feel her, touch her, get intimate with the shift. This is about feeling everything that is, you know, and it gets to you know, it gets to snowball from here. I mean, this is this is an energetic rush that is not going to slow down. And the folks that got awakened early enough, we get to be the way showers now. We get to show other people what it's like to live in this vibration. And it's important that you come out of the closet and show that everywhere that you are. Mm -hmm. Go ahead and get together. Celebrate however you feel in your heart. Go ahead and sing, dance, drum, paint, write, talk to each other, touch each other. It's, it's safe now. We're safe. <laughs> and it's beautiful. And we have, there's such a, a beautiful view right here. We are so blessed to be up here right now, your sister. So this is grateful. gorgeous. Thank you. So thank you all for participating this Sunday. And remember, on the 13th, we have that eclipse. And that's going to be another portal for those of you who are gatekeepers, the 13th through the 19th when the Pleiadian alignment, very similar to what occurred in May with the Ring of Fire. It's like a phone home for those of you who are Pleiadian. Pleiadians have more genetic material on the planet than everyone else, so chances are you got a little bit in you. Go ahead and use that gateway to fully anchor this right into your own heart and then share it with Gaia with gratitude and love. Celebrate her. And I do call out to the artists, go ahead, create this. You, uh, in your creator state, you have the creative muscles already working. Go ahead and teach how to do this. Share it with people. And I thank you very much from the heart of Shasta and from my own sacred heart. I love you. Thank you. Namaste and blessings. Mm -hmm.